Welcome back to Knowledge the Power. Friends, in this video, we will discuss on the topic Postal Manual Volume 5. This video will help you for various type of postal examinations and also day to day work. Particularly, in this video, we will discuss on the topic Parcel Bag, Insole Bag, Registered Packet Bag, Packet Bag, Transit Bag, Account Bag, Branch Office Bag, Cash Bag, Special Bag, Camp Bag. Now we will see one by one here. Parcel bag. Parcel bag contains ordinary registered parcels, VP parcels, and insured bags. It contains ordinary registered parcels, value payable parcels, and insured bags. Parcel bags are not due bags. It is also contains a parcel list in which all the registered articles of the parcel mail are entered in detail. Insured bag. Insured bag is intended to give to insured parcels so as to afford them greater security. It, con it contains insured parcels and having more security for these parcels. Insured bags are not due bags are unusual bags nor they contain any list of their contents. It will not contain any list which are the contents. Insured bags never dispatch loose but is always enclosed in a parcel bag or mail bag. It is placed inside the parcel bag when a parcel bag is made up for the office or section to which it is addressed. Insured bags not dispatched leaves enclosed in a parcel bag or mail bag. Registered packet bag contains heavy registered packets and a registered list. Registered packet bags are prescribed when justified. It contains heavy registered packets and Register list. It is treated as due mails and entered under the column for entries of mail, mail bags in the bags in the mail list with the remark RP against the entry. When prescribed, they must be enclosed irrespective of the fact whether there are any registered packets or not. Packet bag. Bags return empty to unit bag office, district bag office, circle bag office, post office or sacks containing such bags are treated as packet bags. Packet bags are not due bags and when dispatched they are treated as unusual bags. Transit bag. Transit bag is used to enclose several bags sent to the same office or sections thereby affording protection to them and securing the disposal of disposal in transit of only one bag in place of several bags it is used to enclose several bags to send to send to the same office or section and the disposal of transit bags only one in place of several bags Transit bag must contain mail list. Transit bags are two bags. Next account bag. From head office to sub office contains SO slip. From sub office to head office contains SO daily accounts. These are due bags. Branch office bag. From account office to branch office. It contains BO slip from branch office to account office contains BO daily account. These also do bags. Cash bag. Cash bag is used to enclose remittance of cash between the post offices. It is used to enclose remittance, remittances of cash between the post offices. Cash bags are ordinarily dispatched to enclose in a account bag, registered bag, 
on branch of his bag. It may also descend loose in the charge of postman, village postman, overseer, or other subordinate. It is ordinarily dispatched in account bags, register bags, or branch of his bag, and it will also send to loose in the charge of postman, village postman, mail washer, or other subordinate. Cashbacks cash bags are not due bags. Special bag. Special bag is used to enclose correspondence of the higher officers of government mentioned in the post postal guide. Sorry, post office guide part one as identified to privilege and the correspondence of the director general of post pen on tour. It is used to enclose correspondence of the higher officers on higher officers of government. Mentioned in the mentioned to privilege and the correspondence of the director general post when they are on tour. Special bag contains unregistered and registered articles of the letter mail. It contains unregistered and registered articles of the letter mail. Special bags are not due bags, but when they dispatch. It will be treated as unusual bags, unusual mails. Camp bags, camp bag is used to enclose the office files and other official papers, and enclosed by the secretariat or headquarters offices of the higher officers mentioned in Clause 198 of the PO Guide Part 1. For the higher officers in camp. And vice versa. It is used to enclose the office files and other official papers which are closed by the secretariat or the HQ of the higher officers mentioned in the clause 198 of the PO Guide 1 when higher officers are in camp and vice versa. Camp bags are not due bags but when dispatched, they are treated as unusual mails. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe the channel.